Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this week's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to solve a little problem that you may face randomly, and it's when you go to the Divi library and a layout that you thought was had modules in it and sections and rows is just blank. This has been happening lately to me and I've noticed some posts about it, so I wanted to show you a really quick, simple solution for it in case you face this. My problem is, it's a it's going to be hard to show you because it, it's not happening to me right now, but I will replicate it and I'll show you like what it does. And, and it's a really simple solution. So the problem is like this, all right? Check this screenshot. Imagine, you know, you thought you had a bunch of rows or sections and modules, and even if they were like global elements or anything, they appear just like this. A, a blank blue section, a blank green row, and then no modules. That's how it will look when you when you go in there. If you're like me, you're gonna freak out because like this happened to me and I was like, what in the world? I was like working with that layout. I needed that layout and I contacted Elegant Theme Support and they logged in and they were like, they can see it fine. And I'm like, what? I was so confused. Um, and then I realized the solution is literally a permalinks issue. And so, Again, this one's simple. This solution, this is nice when the solution is this simple. So whenever that happens, just go over to your WordPress dashboard. Go over here where it says settings. This is in all WordPress websites. Go down here where it says permalinks. Click on that, and now you don't need to actually change any settings. But just click save changes. So it's that blue save changes button, and just like that, it's done, okay? You don't, again, don't, don't change anything. But what that does is like resets it and like kind of in a sense almost like think of how like when you clear cache but you're actually like clearing the permalinks to like make them back how they should be you know make whatever was glitching there it's like resetting it okay now again I can't really show you but if you were go to go back to your Divi library layout now um, instead of it looking like this it will be back to how it was. This actually happened to me with a couple different websites. And even the one I had like this whole section was a global section. And when I came to it, I was like, wait, it's not green. You know how like it gets like that weird green color. It wasn't even that, but as soon as I saved permalinks, this, this was the solution on every site that it happened to me. And also I saw people online. If for some reason, you know, that doesn't solve it, you'll have to contact Elegant Theme Support and let me know in the comments what does work, but I'm pretty sure this will work. This was the solution that seems to be working for everyone. And speaking of troubleshooting, I would like to put a little plug in for my new trail guides. So I actually have one on Divi troubleshooting. Uh, we're going to be adding more here. So when you view this trail guide, you can see that there's a progress bar. So in this Divi troubleshooting one, um, it'll explain, you know, what you're going to learn. And then you scroll down and there's uh, kind of an overview of what this lesson will be. And in each one, there's a number and then you can mark it as completed or bookmark it or go read that post. And then you just keep going, you know, here's different things that you can fix. Um, here's some tutorials about cache. Uh, here's some things about hosting, backups, you know, staging sites, checking for errors in the console, rolling back your updates, getting help from the community. And then I want to add like another section with things like, like I just covered here about little issues that you may encounter with saving your permalink. So go check that out. That's a new feature. Um, our trail guides, you'll have a progress bar and for the progress, um, and the completed and the bookmarking, you will need to be a member. Um, but you can view the tutorials for free. All right, hope that helped. And if it did help you, if you were facing this issue, well, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Uh, that definitely helps our channel. And yeah, if there's any other uh, solution that worked for you that, that I didn't mention, um, just leave me a comment and help everyone else. All right, we'll see you all in our next video.